Hello, this is Megan's Apathetic Car Reviews, or as I like to call them, Parts in Emotional Labor. So are you recording all of the nefarious activities? For the uninitiated, these reviews are meant to provide an unresearched, disinterested perspective on supercars, or luxury cars, or whatever. Today we have, in the stable, of which my car has been again exiled. <laughs> my car has been exiled again because we have too many Ferraris. God. Which is a legit problem for me in my life. Today we're reviewing uh, the Ferrari 488. Yes. Is that how we say it? We don't say 488. We say 488. 488. Uh, usually they say 488. People usually say 488? Yeah. I thought it was 488. I've heard both, but usually 488. Okay, but the convention is 488. Yes. Okay, instead. It's, I don't know. It's like whatever sounds good. You know, there's, yeah. no, there's no, like, standard. Because I've to... never heard someone say 458. Yeah. People say 458. I know, but every once in a while someone will say, oh, the 458, and it sounds weird. It sounds totally off. Or the F430. Pakistan doing today in the field. That sounds terrible. Yeah, or the 599. Yeah, it's 599. It's 599. I wonder if Ferrari has official... Like, probably. probably. They probably have like a book about it, and if you do it wrong, you get fired. Yeah, what year? 2017. 2017, this relatively new car. Yes. Have they stopped making these yet? Yes. Okay, they have, and yeah. they are now replaced by the what? F8. F8. Yes. So no more for whatever. No. This we got is the regular 48 GTB. In uh, Rosa Corsa, which yes. is, I think, the way to do it. Um, unless you can get one of those rare, what is it, uh, Jocko's car. Oh, well, that was like this weird blue. It was a pretty blue. I can't remember the name of it now. But anyways, that was a speciality, right? Or the... His was a pista. His was a pista. This is obviously the follow-up from the 458. Mm -hmm. I, I, as you know, I don't research uh, these on purpose and for total lack of interest. So the only vague sense of things I've gotten uh, around this car from hearing y'all talk about it, or, or Dan and his colleagues, or Entourage, is that the 488 wasn't as well loved as the 458, or was it because it wasn't naturally aspirated? That. Okay. That's why people don't love it as much. Like, well, there's two, two main complaints. Okay. One is the turbo. Because it's probably, uh, it's a newer car, you know, mm -hmm. some of the 458s are more than a decade old. Correct. So. They're getting to be older cars, and I'm so I'm, I, I haven't driven one of these, and I'm guessing the tech is going to be much more uh, recent. Eh, it's, no, it's a, we'll it's see. A, it's an iteration. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll see. I'll see if I notice a difference between natural aspiration mm -hmm. or not natural aspiration. It's got turbos. Yes. So the other thing that people don't like are the side scoops right there. Okay. Is there a, a, a way you can briefly educate me? about the difference between turbos and natural aspiration. Sure. So this is actually a smaller engine than the 458. Okay. It's only a 3.9 liter instead of the 4.5 liter, so it's over a liter smaller. Exhaust gases spin up a little propeller, and the other, it's connected on two sides. One gets spun by the exhaust, and the other side spins the air and pushes more air into the engine. Okay, but naturally aspirated. Just sucks air in. Just sucks air in. Yeah. And this one spins it in. This one's pushing the air in. Oh, it's actively pushing and the other Correct. one's just sucking. Correct. So and you can so get more air in. When, you have, when you're pushing air through a propeller, you can get more air in. To the engine. Oh, there's a fly. Yeah. More air to the engine and therefore you don't need as big an engine. Right. And you can produce more power. More power with less engine. Yes. Which Absolutely. is always a winning proposition. Right. Because so when, you, when you make, presumably, engine smaller and it's lighter, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, and this actually gets way better fuel economy. As much as anybody cares when they're right. buying, yeah. than well, the, buying a 480. All the regulations around the world are making them okay. get better fuel economy compared to this thing's atrocious fuel economy. Well, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 6.2 liter V12 Yeah. doesn't do good. For the sake of the conversation, how much do they say this gets per gallon? They can get like 27. Whatever. Yeah, on the highway. Oh, when I was driving it back from buying it, I got like 25, 26. Okay. If you're staying out of the fun pedal, it gets really good mileage. But Off obviously when you, when you stay on the gas, it gets atrocious mileage just as good as any other Ferrari. Yeah. It'll eat gas if you yeah. want it to. Yeah. yeah. 
No okay. matter what, to make power, it takes a lot of gas. Okay. So it's got the twin turbo. So mm -hmm. uh, is that going to mean the engine's going to look different than it did on the yes. 458 and 430? Completely different. It's got it. Okay. Want to see so, it? yeah, we should probably look at that. Okay. How just, do you do it? Just lift. Don't want to hurt anything. You're not. Okay. I mean, yeah, it definitely looks different. I mean, it's familiar. Yeah. It's got the red Ferrari. I don't know. It's, it's reminiscent enough. I don't know. Where are the turbos? Uh, they're under the sides. Okay, so I can't really see what no, those sad, look like. No, sadly you can't see them from up here. Okay, so they're in there somewhere. They're in there, yeah. Okay, turbos push air Correct. rather than sucking air. Yep. So there's nothing sucking air. Well, I mean... It's still somewhere... The engine's still sucking in air, but it's sucking in the pushed air. It's, it's actually compressing the air, so it's squeezing it. So when the engine sucks in the air, it's more air. And the more air, the more the explosion. The bigger explosion you can get. Yeah. Therefore, the more power. Well, because you need air for right. explosions. Yeah. The more air, the more fuel, the more power. Okay. More air, more fuel, more power. More and, and then it pushes you because it is an explosion and it is a, con it is a uh, controlled explosion. And then you go forward because it's well, pushing. Well, I mean, it's spinning the... <laughs> Now we're getting complicated. It's spinning the engine. The engine's then spinning the transmission, which then spins the wheels. Okay. The exhaust doesn't really make it go any faster or anything. I mean, it's just like, you know, it's just... It's I don't know. Shooting out exhaust. That'd be more like a jet engine. Is that how jet engines work? Yeah, jet engines literally push you out by the exhaust flying out of the back yeah. of the engine. But anyways, the more you know... Maybe what I'm remembering from looking at 458s is there was a lot of carbon fiber. Well, that's just, you can yeah. get carbon fiber. Yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just all options. Yeah, it's all options. It's, it's never bad. You can't, you can't go wrong with Rosa Corsa on a no, Ferrari. not really. Tail lights, me. I mean, the way that this is seated like this, is this? It's different. Yeah. Than 458. Yeah. There's a little hole. Then again, the 458 always had the tail light issues, right? No, no. That no, that was, was 430. 430. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, also got, this is actually a functional air thing that the air comes out Ooh, here. function. Yeah, yeah. Function. So there is a controversial cutout on this car? Yeah, the side scoops. Okay, the side scoops. People don't like these. I don't know what's so bad about that. I like them. I've seen a bunch of different cars with a the bunch of different... The 430 had them. And yeah. the 458 got rid of them. Yeah. Because the 458 had them back here and in here in the okay. window. But then they got rid of the one in the window and back here and They don't like here. when you break up the hips. I guess. Does it make it look less sexy to have the cutouts? I, I, I don't I, think so. I mean, it so. does look less smooth. It's less sleek. Yeah. But, I mean, I think when you put, like, the carbon fiber in there, it makes it look kind of interesting. I've seen a lot of different things, and I'm not mad at this. Yeah. At all. I like it. I don't think it's something to be upset about. I think, but you know. get all weird about that one. Yeah. Okay, so cutout, I don't care about that. That's fine. Um, yeah, it's got different headlights, different front end. It definitely has different headlights. Yeah, and these then, of are course, way different. This is another controversial thing: is it's got this weird reverse thing. So, like the four five eight had a little scoop that was right here. Sure. And then they put that there instead. And why is this bad? I, people just don't like it's the look of it. It's just a stylistic issue. Yeah. Okay. Oh, also, this is a little bit of tidbit of inter interesting stuff. This was the first Ferrari that was not designed by Pininfarina. What does that mean to me? Uh, Pininfarina was the design firm that made the vast majority of the Ferraris. Not all of them, but most of them. And then, they don't have that in-house? So now they do it in-house. I thought they were, I didn't know Pininfarina Italian right. was an external entity to yeah. them. Yep. I, it's weird. Do other, does like Lamborghini have an external designer? Yeah, like Bertoni did a lot of them. And... I can't believe they don't do that in-house. It's all they do for a living, well, is design and produce cars. They, I don't know, the design firm Pininfarina made... Enzo originally like, this is, designed... This is a Pininfarina. So you, right here, this is Pininfarina right there. That's what yeah. that says. Same thing with on the 430. It's got it on the side as well. So the 430, this all Pininfarina. 458 was Pininfarina. Then they got, like, Ferrari, I don't know if they fired them, but they stopped using Pininfarina on this one. Hmm. I mean, does Pininfarina d design for anybody else? Oh, yeah, yeah. They even make uh, soda machines. Okay. Serious, if you go to like certain like okay. restaurants that have the self-serve soda machine, if you look carefully, sometimes they have a little pin and Frina logo. Well, Lamborghini was a tractor maker. Yeah. Did Enzo Ferrari design cars? 
I mean, I don't know if he personally did. Or is he just more like uh, the like uh, the owner, CEO? What? Who is it? Ford. Henry. Henry he's Ford. like the Henry Ford. Probably. I mean, sure, he had. Well, he signed off on everything all the way through the F forty. Okay. Right. Yeah. Oh, and there's also the two little things around there in the front. You see those two little teeth? Yeah, I don't know if I care about that. Eh, People I don't could, like those. I could do without that. And it got rid of the horse on the front, too. Oh, is that on these cars? I guess the 430 didn't have it, but the 458 did, and people like that. The 599 has it. 599 has it, yeah. I mean, it's still got the Ferrari right yeah, there. Yeah, it's, it's not still... like you're, you, oh, well, where, what know. kind oh. of car is this? I've never seen uh, this. Okay, so, so far, I'm not, I mean, I'm not, nothing offends my sensibilities. I don't think I like the headlights as much as the 458, actually, but, hmm. but yeah, other than that, I don't mind the cutout. I mean, the engine, what is that to me, except, you know, it, uh, uh, it pushes rather than sucks, really. What's going on? Sanders, what's going on? It's Mega Maid. She's gone from suck to blow. What? I mean, okay. <laughs> Shall we get in the car? Yes. Okay. As usual, let's get into this. Okay. Oh, I like. I like the interior choice. I like the red leather. It looks good. Yeah, it does. It's not too much. Yeah, because it's red and black. Yeah. They didn't go over the top. Like when I've seen full red dashes, it's a little bit like, ooh. And these are the race seats. The carbon seats, yeah. $300,000 cars that don't have seats that go up and down. Let's so, go forward and back. Great. And uh, the back of it comes forward. Yeah. So there's a bar underneath your legs. Oh, okay. Neat. <laughs> okay. Okay. Put your, yeah. Okay. So put your foot on the brake and then push and hold the button on the steering wheel because this is keyless now. So oh. the key's right there. Okay. So you put on the on the wheel. Oh, there it is. Push and hold. There you go. Okay. Very good. And then there's a little wheel you can spin there. Oh, I have to do that? It doesn't even do it automatically? No. It's a carpet seat. Okay. So does every model of of Ferrari thus far get the issue? Maybe not this one because it's so new, but like where the leather and the dash and everything comes comes off. Well, yeah, it's usually over from time. Heat and humidity. Yeah, but why don't so it's... all the other cars in the world? And you know, I've seen people with a lot of old cars. Why? Uh, well, first of all, they're using real leather as opposed sure. to like her vinyl or or bullshit. yeah imitation leather right um, so it does actually tend to, to shrink over time with heat and humidity and then also the glue for our users is shit i can't believe yeah they still haven't figured that out they still haven't figured out the sticky buttons but you notice these don't have it yet feel isn't that nice yes it is quite nice feeling that's, that's what they want that's what they want it to feel like yeah and why do they i guess why do they want it to feel like this for as all as opposed to like a chunk of like a just you know piece of plastic sure tactile senses i guess so and we do have a camera but the uh, uh small. perspective is horrifying there's no depth perception yeah it makes it hard <laughs> what year did they start making these 27 uh 2016 oh, okay so this is the second year mm -hmm. of this model first of the twin turbos for ferrari well first oh f40 was a turbo f40 was twin turbo yeah and it was okay. a v8 so this was a resurgence of that, so I can't say the first. Resurgence, but. and everybody loves the F40. I know. Everybody loves the F40. I know it's F40. weird. F40, you know, and so <laughs> why did they go back to natural aspiration then, after the F40? Uh, I mean they you, they had both for a while. A while, yeah. Okay, so person purchasing this is probably not but hurt about the the turbo thing at the time because other people were like, Mer, never again. And so this guy's like, whatever, I just want the newest Ferrari, wee! So he's got his, his 2017 488. He doesn't care about the turbo thing, just wants the latest and greatest. I mean, it doesn't feel so different yet to me. I mean, I don't know that I have the uh, skill set and the knowledge base to really discern if this is going to feel different than the 458. Maybe it's not as loud. It's quiet in here. Yeah. I think the 458 was louder. Of course. But then again, every the 458 I drove from you it always had a modified exhaust. Yes. Is this a modified exhaust? Nope. This is stock. It's 100% stock. Okay. There's nothing modified in this car. Okay. Yeah, so this and it's, it's a really good example. Yes. And the interior, I think, is really well done. So... Yeah. Oh, that spin... That 
spin up noise like yep. that's the turbo right yep. yep yeah that's the turbos yeah i can hear it so what were these new baby uh this one was three hundred and sixty thousand. wow really yeah okay I come off the is it different when I come off the gas with the twin turbo it feels like it drops off quicker than the 458 when I take it off I don't know uh, it might yeah I mean I can understand why people who are used to having the um a naturally aspirated sound are maybe going to be uh at first at least disconcerted by the shrill high-pitched air yeah, I don't even know if people care about the... The sound? The turbo noise being bad. It's more of the engine noise. It's just kind of muted. Which you could probably do some... I mean, with a, um exhaust, I imagine. Yes. You so could make a difference. We ordered an exhaust for this thing. Oh, okay, cool. Because I want to show that you can make it still have that high-pitched Ferrari... Oh, it's not high-pitched. No, it's very, if you notice, it's very grumbly. Yeah, it's got... It's, it's more bass. Yeah, it's, it's like a growl. Yeah. Which is not bad. It's cool. It's just not the same. I wonder what makes the naturally aspirated one scream. Uh, good question. Yeah, I don't know. But yeah, there's a sound difference there for sure. Yes. Oh, you want me to do launch control? Yeah. Uh, is that a complicated procedure? No. Okay, because in some cars it is. Yeah. Go right. What you're going to do is we're going to pull out into the middle, come to full stop. You're going to put your left foot on the brake your right foot on the gas. I'm going to push the launch button. And once it Wait, I'm having on both pedals? Yep, both pedals. That's like you're what they tell you not to do in driver's ed. I know, but you're going to push both at the same time and you're going to hear the engine go da, 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 and then you release the brake. Okay. And then so I put my right foot on the gas, yep. my left foot on the brake. You push that and then I release the brake. Once you, you like, it, well, I'll push Once the button. Once it goes, da, 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 so put, your, put your left on the brake, then come to full stop. It's so weird to put your left foot on. I know, the pedal. It, feels, it feels awkward. It's fucking weird. Then, once I push the button, then you're gonna take your right foot and put the pedal to the floor. Okay, one minute. Well, I don't want to do the pedal thing until I. Right, I know. Okay. Well, until we're off in the road too. Should we so, do this? Yeah, you can go. There's okay. No one behind us, so go for it a little bit. People probably aren't gonna rear end a, okay. a 488 so bright red in the middle. Okay, okay left stop. Left foot, stop. Okay. Okay, this is ah. weird. So, wait, push, push yep. down on both of them hard? Yeah. I'm, are you sure? Yeah, that's not going. Why's uh, that going? What? Um, I don't know. It's, oh, I'll just stab it. Go for it. Okay, just stab it. Don't yeah. do the launch control? Yeah. I guess there's less screaming. It's more grr, less grr, more grr. <laughs> Wait, why didn't we do the launch control? I don't know why it didn't go. It, it, it didn't do it for me? Yeah, I don't know why it didn't do it. It's weird. I wish we could have done it now. Well, we could try again. Okay, we try again. Move. Yeah. Move. Okay. Hard. One. Why isn't that coming on? It's just not. It's not coming on. Okay, well, oh well. Give it hell. Just give it hell? Yeah, go for it. Woo! <laughs> I'm not sure why it's not doing launch control. Because I'm driving it. Yeah. It's like, don't let her do launch control. Yeah, you'll, you'll have to get in and do it and tell me what I was doing wrong. Okay. Maybe you omitted a step? No. Okay. It's, it's got to be in race mode. It's got to be... I'm not even paying attention to what I'm doing, but... You got it up there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this road's 65, so we could actually say we went like 66. Right. Okay. Yeah. in 
and stuff. I don't know what that is. No, it's just like dirt. Oh, okay. Great. Dust. Woo! It's like video games. Except it's real. <laughs> okay. Woo! Yeah, that thing corner is good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> into plenty of trouble in this car. Oh, yeah. Plenty of trouble. It scoots a little bit. Yeah. But you notice it's like, it's a very smooth power. It yes, it is. It doesn't like, like, feel like someone kicked you in your ass. It just rolls No, up. it's not like that huge suspension yeah. of mass. It's great. Oh, yeah, I know where we are now. like how I go on and off the power. No. That is not good race driving. Everything should be smooth. Okay. It's actually more fun when it's not. Sort of. <laughs> You're having no fun with this No car. fun at this car. <laughs> There's like one of these cars in the town we live in and everybody knows who's got it. So if we get a call from the sheriff... Not exactly like totally Sweet. level here. Yeah. Start pulling you to the outside. Yes. Well, alrighty. That was enjoyable. I don't know, <laughs> unless you're you're really really savvy, if you're gonna notice a big difference between the 458 and the 488. I don't know. I mean, obviously it's newer and it it's a lot of fun. Um, it doesn't scream like the 458, but uh, I don't. Again, if you, unless you're that guy, this car is a lot of fun. So 458s right now are going, I mean, what's the range? Like, what would you think the average 458 is going for right now? Probably like 230, 240. Okay, 230, 240. What's the average 488 going right now? Close to 300 or more. Close to 300 or more. Okay, so I mean, it, generally, if you can afford the 230, you can afford the 300. And some of these are still under warranty. Yes. No. Yes, no. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I think this car is a lot of fun. I wouldn't spend two or three hundred thousand dollars personally on a car, but if you're that guy, I, I mean, I go ahead and get this one. Whatever, sixty, seventy thousand dollars a year, whatever. It's for sale. Yeah. No. Oh, it is for sale. Yeah. Maybe. We, well, we got a guy who's interested, but. We, yeah. Okay. But uh, until further notice, for sale. Uh, it is a, a great deal of fun. It is Rosa Corsa. The interior is very tastefully done. And, uh, and the exhaust has not yet been modified, so you can mm. make it your own. 488. It's good as the other Ferraris I've driven. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>